Good morning, my dear niece Josephine and the Capaldo Cool Cats. Um, I'm Auntie Meg, and I recorded a video to send to Josie the other day to congratulate her and to thank her for all of the hard work she did reading to raise money for her school. And um, she asked if I could share this story with her whole class. And so I'm really excited to do that. Um, I wanna congratulate all of you on the incredible work you did reading and raising money for your school. That's really important work. So I read Josie this story. It's called Not Quite Snow White. Um, and she agrees that it has a really wonderful, important lesson in it that's good for all kids. And we also talked about how I know a lot of you and Josie have advanced beyond just picture books and you're reading chapter books. Um, but she and I also agree that picture books can be for anybody. So I hope that you enjoy this story. Not quite Snow White, written by Ashley Franklin and illustrated by Ebony Glenn. For Tamika, it was always the right time to dance and sing. Tamika had a hip rolling happy dance, a swayful sad dance, a stomping mad dance, and a hair flicking just because she felt fabulous dance. She sang high with the tweeting birds and low with the croaking frogs. She always shared her love of music and movement with an audience, stuffed and unstuffed. <laughs> this sounds like a young lady I know, by the way. Tamika loved the stage. It was her perfect place. She was the star of every show and she loved every show that she starred in. She had been a cucumber, a space cowgirl, a dinosaur, and her favorite part, a singing mermaid. On stage, Tamika felt like she could be anything or anyone she wanted to be. But she had never been a princess. Now she would finally have her chance. I'm gonna audition for Snow White the Musical. Tamika was so excited that she went to both days of auditions for the Snow White Musical. On the first day, she arrived super early. She helped friends with their lines, kept count for the dancers, and shooed butterflies from nervous tummies so songs could be sung. After the audition, Tamika heard some of the other kids whispering, she can't be Snow White. She's too tall. She's much too chubby. and she's too brown. Tamika looked at her legs. Excuse me. Tamika looked at her legs. They were long. Maybe the other kids were right. A princess shouldn't be taller than her prince, should she? She looked at her belly. Maybe what the kids said was true. She could not remember any chubby princesses. Tamika looked at her skin. She was brown. How could a girl with brown skin play a princess like Snow White? Could those kids be wrong? Maybe she was wrong for wanting to be a princess. Tamika slouched and sucked in her belly. She tried pulling down her sleeves but there was no getting around being brown. For the first time, she didn't feel like dancing or singing. At dinner, Tamika didn't tap her feet or clang rhythms with her spoon. Is something wrong? asked her mom. 
The other kid said, I'm too tall, too chubby, and too brown. I'm not right for Snow White, Tamika said. You've got it all wrong, Mom said. You are tall enough, chubby enough, and brown enough to be a perfect princess. at school you hear the announcements besides said her dad snow white is just pretend you've always been my real princess you're just enough of all the right stuff he kissed her forehead tamika smiled maybe her parents were on to something At the audition the next day, Tamika watched all the other kids get on stage and do their best. Looks like they're having a lot of fun. It was Tamika's turn at last. She remembered what her parents had said, but her long legs were still a little jittery. She closed her eyes and imagined she was singing and dancing for her favorite audience of friends, stuffed and not stuffed. Then she remembered the joy she felt when performing. Tamika knew she could do it. And she did. She shone like the star that she was. She could act, she could dance, she could sing. She loved herself as much as she loved music and movement. Tamika was a perfectly poised princess. When her audition was over, Tamika looked out to smiling faces. Tamika wasn't too much of anything. Maybe she was just enough of all the right stuff. The end. I love that story. I love how much Tamika loves herself and the confidence and the belief that she has in herself to do anything, even when other people think that she can't. So I hope you enjoyed this story, Not Quite Snow White. Keep reading, keep finding love and joy and worlds of wonder in books, and have a wonderful day at school, everybody. Bye!